What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing our first ever SGC grading mail day return video. Um, so if you guys remember, uh, probably about a month ago, or a little over a month ago, I did a mail day video where I showed off a big lot of uh, Otani rookie cards from 2018 Heritage High Number um, that I purchased. I think there was about, about 25 cards in there. And I said I might do um, an experiment with SGC. So I'd never graded with SGC before. Uh, I was primarily just grading with PSA when they were open. Uh, but I did buy a big lot of Otani rookie cards for what I thought was a good price. Um, so I thought about trying an experiment with SGC, just kind of seeing what their process is like and you know, seeing how hard their grading is and stuff like that. So I went ahead and did that. And uh, these are the results here. So um, before we get into that, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at TMN underscore sports underscore cards. I post there now and then. Uh, I'm not super active on there, uh, but I do post, you know, mail days and boxes I'm going to be opening and uh, box results I open off camera, stuff like that. So, um, and that's the same name for my eBay store too, TMN underscore sports underscore cards. So you'll probably end up seeing actually some of these cards on there. Um, I may keep one or two. For myself um, just because the grades were pretty decent on these which we'll show in a second um, so yeah let's get into it here this is how SG, SGC ships them back so they ship it in this nice little uh, bubble mailer sort of thing with a nice tuxedo time on the front um, and so this order is just six cards if you guys remember I bought 25 Otani rookie cards from 2018 heritage high number um, I looked through those and I picked out the best six to send in for this sort of uh, experiment or whatever, if you will. Um, SGC grading is $30 per card. So you're looking at $180 in grading fees plus shipping and insurance. I think it was just over $200 for the submission. Um, I submitted these on September 25th. They got to SGC and were marked as received in my account on September 29th, so pretty quick there. And then they were graded, graded on November 3rd and they were returned to me just a couple days ago. So uh, really quick, if you're looking um, in terms of, you know, PSAs at like 11 or 12 months turnaround time right now, uh, SGC is more like one month. So that, I was definitely very pleased with that. Um, the turnaround time was great. And I was also pretty happy with the grades. So let's get into the grades and I'll kind of show you and uh, talk you through my uh, reasoning for sending these in and all that good stuff. So here is what the SGC cases look like. If you guys haven't seen them before, um, I've had a couple come through my collection at some point, but you can see they have that black border, which is kind of cool. It looks good with the, uh, with the white border of these Heritage High Number cards actually. Um, then the sides are, or the case itself is much thicker uh, than a regular PSA card or a PSA graded card. So, and here's the back of those as well. So, like I said, I sent in six of these out of 25, and I was really looking for first, I looked for, you know, centering, make sure centering was pretty good. Um, you can see there's, it's a little bit thicker on top and on that side, I think, but, you know, some of them were, were way worse. and my goal with the submission was really just to see how hard SGC was at grading um, in general. So my PSA um, gem mint percentage usually sits around 70%, maybe 72, 73% in general. Um, so I was kind of looking to, to hit around that mark in this. Unfortunately, I didn't hit exactly that, but I still think I did pretty well. So here's the first one. That's a 9.5, which they call mint plus you can see up there um, and what i've noticed is that sgc 9.5 is is pretty equivalent in in price to a psa 9. Um, so not the best there on that one but that's okay we have five more the second one also got a 9.5 and again these were the best six out of the 25 that i bought um, so i did look these over pretty well i did there was definitely no major flaws at all um, and these were the best centered ones are those 25 so got one 9.5 got a second 9.5 and a third 9.5 and again 9.5 is still not a bad grade probably equivalent to a PSA 9 um, they do have an SGC 9 but 
Um, those are definitely worth much less than a PSA 9. So 9.5s are good. I was pretty happy with that one. There's the third one. And then we get into our 10. So here's our first SGC 10. Gem Mint, you can see the front there. And the back. So yeah, like I said, when I was when I was sending these in, I was really looking for all 9.5s or better, which I did get, um, as you'll see. But also, I was I was just sending them in to see, you know, what what sort of was the difference between a 9.5 and a 10. Um, I'm not sure if I still truly understand the difference. I think I'm gonna have to send some more cards to SGC. Um, I'm gonna try some more experiments with them with with different sort of cards because I think there is they're a good grading company. I think they grade pretty fair. Uh, overall, just, just based on, you know, when I sent these cards in, I thought they'd all get 9.5s or more, and they did, so. But I'm going to try um, another experiment with some different sort of cards that I'll let you guys know about uh, when that happens, so. I do think SGC is a viable option. I like their slabs. Um, I think PSAs are a little bit better. They're a little bit smaller, which I like, and uh, I do like the clear portion of the PSA slabs better, but, you know, SGC is a great alternative, and especially for a uh, one month turnaround time and only $30 a card. You know, PSA is at $150 a card right now. So yeah, so overall in that submission, we ended up sending in six out of 25 Otanis. We got three 9.5s, we got three SGC 10s. Overall, I would say that was pretty good. Definitely um, successful based on what I paid for the Otanis just in general. I think I bought them for like $12 each raw. Uh, add on your $30 grading fees. The 9.5s are probably around $40 um, each, so you probably break even on those. And then the 10s are, are more like $100 each, so you can make some money there. So overall, definitely a decent submission. Um, like I said, I'll be definitely grading with SGC more in the future, so stay tuned for those videos coming soon. Um, again, if you want to follow me on eBay, or if you want to follow my store on eBay, follow me on Instagram, tmn underscore sports underscore cards. If you guys want to like and subscribe, we'll have uh, more videos here coming soon. So thanks for watching, guys. That's it for this one. Kind of a shorter video, but look out for more videos coming soon. That's it. Bye.